Praise God. Hallelujah. I welcome you to a new episode of Experience the Supernatural. My name is Pastor Benjamin Martins of the Redeemed Christian Church of God here in Open Heavens Assembly in Johannesburg, South Africa. You're welcome in Jesus' name. Shall we have a word of prayer? Father, you are good and you are God. Thank you because all things belong to you. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the salvation of our soul and the gift of life. Accept our thanks. As we go into your word, teach us your word. Help us through your word and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Friends, our topic today says, are you a vessel unto honor? Vessels unto honor. And as we go through today's episode, I believe that God wants to speak to you directly. He wants to speak to you that he wants to make you a vessel unto honor. And let's go through the scripture. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 19. 2 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 19 to 21. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standed sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of heart, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and made for the master's use, and prepared unto every good works. Now, beloved, we're talking about vessel unto honor. Who is a vessel unto honor? A vessel unto honor is, is, is someone that God can use. And what is a vessel? A vessel is a container, a bowl, something that you can put something into, something that can contain or hold something. That's, that's a vessel. So it's a container. What sort of container are you? And let me be honest with you, brothers and sisters, when we talk about vessel unto honor, a container of the honor is a vessel or she's a vessel that God can use, that God Almighty can trust for his grace and his anointing. That's a vessel unto honor. Now, one thing is very clear. Although we have different kinds of vessels, one of the main characteristics of a container is that they can hold something. Now, what are you holding? What are you holding? What type of vessel are you? Now, the Bible says that there are different kinds of vessels, of gold, of silver, but they are also of wood. Now, there are vessels that you give unto every single one that comes to your house. It's an everyday use. There are also vessels that you only bring out when you have an important visitor. Now, what vessel are you? Are you a vessel unto honor? Are you someone that God can use? There was a story of a man who has been praying, God, please use me, please use me, please use me. So one day, he wanted to ease himself, and he went to, to, to the men's room. And as he got to the men's room, it was very, very dirty. He couldn't use it. And he left. He couldn't use it. One after the other, he opened, and he discovered he couldn't use it. And as he turned to go, he had the word of God. Why did you leave? He said, but they are not clean. God said, well, it is because you are not clean. That's why I cannot use you. Purge yourself, come to Christ, be clean, and God can use you very quickly. What are the characteristics of vessel unto honor? Number one, they are available. Vessel unto honor must be available. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I? Who shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here yeah, am I, send me. Are you available? Number two, God can only use empty vessel and clean vessel. Are you empty and are you clean? Can God use you in your current state? He's speaking to you today. Number three, vessel unto honor needs to submit to the will of God and they need to be subjected to the law of God. Have you submitted to the will of God? Have you subjected to the law of God? Do you subject yourself to the law of the Almighty God? Vessel unto honor. I tell you something, brothers and sisters. Vessel unto honor are faithful and they have faith. Are you faithful in the thing that God has committed into your hand? Can God trust you? He's speaking to you today. He wants to use you, but you need to surrender yourself first unto him. Finally, vessel unto honor are diligent and they are prayerful. Are you diligent? The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 22, 
22 verse 29. Set thou a man diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Are you diligent in the things of God? God is calling on you today. Most importantly, what type of vessel are you? Are you clean? Can God use you? Or you have decided to give yourself to the devil to be used. Remember, devil also need vessel to be used. Are you a vessel unto God or you are a vessel in the hand of the enemy? God is speaking to you today. If you want to be a vessel of honor unto God, you can start by giving your life to Jesus. And as many that are watching us right now, if you are taking that decision, let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for as many that are listening and they want to be a vessel unto God, they are committing themselves unto you. Please save them by your blood. Wash their sin away. And Lord, make them a vessel worthy, O oh God, of you and of your anointing and of your, and of your grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Friends, I hope that you have been touched by the word of God. We want to hear from you. Go to those addresses on the screen, and it shall be well with you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the like button. And as you continue to watch, the Almighty God will bless you. And as you continue to watch, be sure to experience the supernatural power of the Almighty God. God bless you. Thank you.